guys, we're gonna start this video off with a little bit of crop scouting. We have this field here. This is our first field of beans that was planted. This was planted April 27th. So uh, this has been in the ground just over a month now. And you can see it's looking real good. It came up pretty much on time. It didn't sit in the ground at all. Uh, I got this grassy bit here. First time running a sprayer this year, so there are spots like that. I'm going to run around with the UTV sprayer and fix those spots. I just haven't gotten a chance. We jumped right into hay season. We're going to be bailing, I think, today. So uh, when I get a chance, I will come out here just with straight Roundup and water and spray those out with the UTV. That there, right across from the first field of soybeans, that is corn. And what I can see is it is up now. I can row the headlands. It's just barely up but that's been in today is Monday today's Memorial Day it's been in a week since is it Thursday I think or Saturday Saturday I started planting this on Saturday got rained out and then finished on Monday so it the second section has been in for a week these are the two twos that are beans on beans so this is where our wheat will be going in this fall these were planted oh, two or three weeks ago, so they're growing pretty quick. They're not too far behind that first field we planted. So there's about 65 acres here, and they all look really well, really good, really clean, except on the headlands. We'll probably end up having to come in with a post pass on just for headlands, tidying them up. I just love looking at a 30 inch bean stand. That is just so perfect. The drills are all over the place with stand, but I love looking at a planted field of soybeans. All right, this side, this is about 55 acres. This was planted the same time as that front field. This is the first time I am seeing this field, and it looks really good. Again, got some weed pressure up in here. Nothing a little post won't solve. Um, one thing we were informed of is that Tendovo, it is Metribuzin and Dual. The Dual takes a half inch of rain to activate. So the problem with that is we haven't had a half inch of rain since planting. Um, we got close. There may be some fields that activated, but I don't remember if I sprayed before or after the rain. So it is, we're right on the border of the chemical working well, so. But that's what the beans look like. The beans are good, the beans are there. We just got to keep them there till harvest. This side was corn stubble, no-tilled rye. Plan was to plant into the rye and then terminate. The rye really didn't come in very well on this field. Uh, it ended up being a lot of wild vetch and um, any other of those early ground covers that we get. So I still no-tilled into it. It did really well. I can row all the beans. The beans have a good stand out here. This is a sandier soil, so tilling it probably would have put us in a bad situation now with our lack of moisture that we have. Doing this, this, the dead part, I came in here with Roundup and Liberty because I didn't want to have anything left behind that the Roundup wouldn't get, so we did run Liberty in this pass. And it did a really good job. Uh, I missed a little bit over there. I'm not very good at getting my sections turned off and back on timely. But all the beans are here, from what I can tell. They're a little spotty here, but this corner is really hard. This is where we load trucks on our way out. So once we get up here, it should get better. When we do get a rain or any moisture that was in the soil, this is all locking it down in, not letting it evaporate off, letting the top layer stay moist. So this in the long run should work out in our favor. And yeah, there's good, very good stand of beans. I say that and then we could a section like that, but it they will turn around. I think this looks really good. And also I just want to mention anything you see with our no-till experiments, you can't take that as a direct hit to no-till as a negative. Um, we have been tillage for a very long time and we have established a pretty big hard pan and what and we have really killed our soil with tillage. The biology just isn't there like it should be. So it does take time. There will be a hit the first couple years, but eventually, 
over time you will see a benefit to no-till guys so don't don't look at our results and go well no-till doesn't work um, you got to do it and you got to do it for a period of time to get the results you're looking for um, eventually our goals are to cut commercial fertilizer probably in half at least we could even go to 0% for commercial fertilizer reduce the amount of herbicides used by using cover crops as a weed barrier and um, increasing soil biology as we go so every year we want to leave the land better than we found that better than when we planted into it in the spring this was i believe the last field of beans planted it is a little sporadic here on the headlands uh, like i said we are short on moisture so by this time there was no moisture in the top inch and so i was trying to put it in the moisture but it was quickly disappearing as i was putting it in Plus we rain tillage on this field, so that lessens the amount that is here. But overall, the headlands are halfway decent. I'm sure the middle of the field's a little better. This was also to put into corn fodder. And if you guys remember, we do not have uh, row cleaners on our planter. It is an upgrade we are planning on doing here in the next year or two because we are seeing what not having them does. And we are really looking forward to get solving that problem getting the residue out of the furrow and um, giving the beans a nice straight shot up to the surface but we got mature beans there and we got ones just coming up and they're just all over the place out here this is one of our worst fields uh, soil health wise it's just not a very um, productive field so which ironically it was our best cornfield last year don't know how that happened but it was this field did i think it averaged two at 210 uh everything else is around 185 190 so that was a pleasant surprise i was happy to see my yield monitor shoot up in this field but uh, this is one of my focuses get this field straight into a no-till rotation with cover crops start building uh, organic matter start building the biomass putting heavy biomass uh, covers out here get some nice tall covers get them like five feet tall and then bring come in plant into them terminate and hopefully get this field really really good all right next we're heading back to the corn field that i know tilled or the hay field that i know tilled corn into uh, only downside to this field is we do have to drive through this beautiful wheat field. Did tear up the edges a little bit coming through with the sprayer and the planter and then the sprayer again and then our trucks. But this is our best wheat field by far. And uh, the reason why we have to drive through the wheat, Dad did tell me when I drilled it to leave a lane. And what we should have done is we should have put the backfield into wheat, but we just weren't thinking at the time. Uh, Dad said, leave a lane so that we can get to the back. I got done drilling this field and was driving up to the front. I went, oh shoot, I forgot to leave a lane. And that's where it left. And just for reference, I played in this field at like 1030 at night. So it wasn't exactly in a real awake state of mind. So it was, I was just trying to get it done so that we can move on. Can't row anything, but I'm not surprised. get out and see if we see anything now this is the first field I planted and it is the only field where there was moisture on the surface so I am very interested to see if this corn is up and out of the ground which from what I am seeing oh yes it is there's nothing here it usually takes when you pull into a field turn the vac on for the first time it takes about that distance to get the seed meters primed so here we are and I'm seeing a corn plant every six inches or so where they were. That must have been a double right there. Looking good. This is actually looking really good. Didn't even get a good cover on the seed trench right here, but I don't know what happened there. But I am really excited about this. This, if everything goes to plan, this will never see a chisel plow or disc in the entire time we farm it. 
I don't know why this grass didn't die. I did come in, like I said, and do Atrazine, Armazon Pro, and Roundup, and this grass is still alive. So, and uh, that was just, ugh, that might not have been a week ago, so it could still die, probably. But, yeah, this corn is up. This is what we're looking at. That's the corn. These are our other two no-till bean into rye fields. These ones were actually rye. Uh, Dad ended up tilling this first section of headland where we parked trucks on. I really don't know if it helped or not. It wasn't really the greatest to plant into, and they are inconsistent in growth stages, but they did all come up, so I guess that's what matters. Come up here, I think this is a better looking field from what I've scouted already. Uh, again, missed a little bit of the sprayer, gonna come in and fix that up. Uh, Rye's not even pushing heads yet, so that's, I got some time yet. So, tried to keep it in between the rows, but with no auto steer on the corn planting or on the bean planting is a little bit difficult. But I can see all the way down to the end of the field, these beans are looking really good. And we'll just walk around here. Got some guest rows that are a little close together there. And the beans that are in with this rye look really good. They are a little bit smaller, probably just because there's not a whole lot of moisture in this dirt, but they do look really well. So. I could even come out here with just like a little lawn roller and crimp this rye down. It is at that stage where once it starts to push ahead, you see it gets this stem. And when you roll it over, it crimps down like that and it will not come back if you do that. That's what the organic guys like to do is roll it. Since I can't use chemical, we can't use chemical. We're organic for life. The headlands are looking really good. And then uh, we'll come over and look at this field is looking really good as well and uh, this has a little bit I think this is vetch here but it the roundup did toast it uh, okay so this is really 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 good uh, this field was looking questionable last time I was here but this is definitely not getting replanted 